Let's stick to this topic of Russia. Earlier today, right here on MSNBC, the Republican chair of the House Oversight Committee pushed back a bit on Trump's, what do you call, embrace of Vladimir Putin. Listen. Do you agree with Donald Trump that Vladimir Putin is a stronger and more effective leader than President Obama? I think they're two totally different systems. Uh, you know, one's essentially a dictator. It uh, makes the equation very different than the way we operate with a Congress, a judicial branch. I, I, I would not categorize it like that. No. But th so it's a simple question. Do you agree or disagree with Donald Trump? I disagree with him on that. Boris Epstein is a Trump campaign senior advisor. Boris, thank you for joining us here today. Uh, you know, you heard Jason Chaffetz disagree with Donald Trump. It's what our friends over in the political unit at NBC called a loyalty test for some Republicans, their view on Putin. So I want to talk with you about that. But I want to start with showing you how two conservative think tanks see Russia. This comes from Heritage Foundation and the American Enterprise sure. Institute. Let's put up on screen. Russia's economy has shrunk 5% since 2013. The U.S. economy is up more than 7% in that time. Life expectancy in Russia is ranked 153rd between Bangladesh and North Korea. So, Boris, why would Donald Trump want to emulate Vladimir Putin or see him as somebody to praise? Holly, where are you getting this from? He doesn't want to emulate him at all. I and just he's just putting you. words in his mouth. Here's what, here's what the bottom line he, is. He said he's here a better listen. leader for Russia. Here Wait a second, Boris. No, no, he said he's a better leader for Russia than President Obama is for the United States. Are, when said, you look at some of those, we're not even talking about human rights issues, ISIS. some of those economic comparisons. He said he's a better leader in terms of fighting ISIS. He didn't touch economics. Here are the U.S. leaders who worked with Soviet Union and Russia. FDR, JFK, Nixon, Reagan, George H.W. Bush. Uh, Barack Obama is trying to work with Russia right now on Syria. Hillary Clinton attempted a reset with Russia and failed. Bill Clinton received $500,000 for a 90-minute speech in Russia, then took a picture with President Putin and received a personal phone call from him. So all of this is completely contrived by the media and the Clinton campaign to take, it, to take the point away from the fact that Hillary Clinton was a failure as Secretary of State. She could not work with so, Russia. So Donald Trump said he will be tough on Russia, will be tough on Vladimir Putin, and make sure we're leading, not leading from behind, as we have been under Barack Obama. But I would respectfully just point you to what you just heard from Jason Chaffetz before he came over to you. Members of his own party, members of Donald Trump's own party, don't agree with him on this Putin issue. So well, why all, continue to go down this road? Listen, not all members of the same party are ever going to agree on everything. You know, Hillary Clinton disagreed with a lot of but her brass about going into Libya. She disagreed with them about designating Boko Haram as a terrorist organization, resulting in hundreds of women being kept hostage and used as suicide bombers. So those are, those are real disagreements you should be talking about, not trying to pin Republicans versus Republicans. No, and I really get it. An issue that is made out of but, thin air. I didn't, I'm not the one that made it out of thin air, uh, but let's just focus here on Don, your candidate, and the issue with Russia, because I think well, there I'd have like been some on real both questions. There are two candidates in this race, right? So what's Hillary but Clinton's policy on Russia? What's Hillary Clinton's policy in North Korea? There was a nuclear test in North Korea yesterday, direct result of the Clinton failures of the 1994 yeah. Accords. I get that you want to focus on Hillary Clinton, Boris, but let me I'd just like pose this question to you one more time because I want to—I want a real answer here. Sure. With members of Donald Trump's own party uncomfortable with where he stands and his relationship with Vladimir Putin, with how he no, has talked again, about you're putting Vladimir words Putin, in people's mouth. how do you reconcile this? Ninety percent of Republicans. In I just want to know how you reconcile backing, it in the Republican Party. Ninety percent of Republicans are backing Donald Trump as their candidate for president. The Republicans have absolutely come back home and are fully united behind Donald Trump on the Russia issue specifically. Donald Trump will be tough on Russia. Just like he'll be tough on everyone all over the world, whereas Barack Obama is being disrespected all over the world, just like he was in China recently, uh, Saudi Arabia before that, Cuba before that. We've been disrespected under the Clinton Obama foreign policy. That will not happen under Donald Trump. And everyone knows that. That's why the left and the media are trying to distract from the real issue that Donald Trump will lead. Hillary Clinton has already failed at leading. Let me switch over here, Boris. I'm going to leave that for a second to, to this issue of birtherism, right? A couple of other uh, Trump supporters, Trump surrogates, have said he's renounced it. I want you to listen, and then we'll discuss it on the other side. Sure. Why won't he yes, come he out believes. and just own that position that, yes, President Obama was born here. I was wrong to go with the birthers. So he believes President Obama was born here. In other words, he was born in the United States. Do you confirm that? Do you agree with I that? I confirm that, and Donald Trump now, now confirms that. You know, Hillary Clinton When did he do that? When did he Hillary, do that? He did that uh, when did he two do years that? ago. Two years ago. Three years ago. When did he... Uh, he has now accepted that birtherism was nonsense. 
Do I, is this, is this so, my I pose that question to you, Bruce. When did Donald Trump renounce his birtherism issue with President Obama? Just Monday, he was asked well, about this and said he the, just doesn't talk about it anymore. Let's look at the history here. First of all, this issue came out of Hillary Clinton's failed 2008 campaign. They started it. She couldn't finish it because she fails at well, everything. She couldn't get an answer. And then Donald Trump that, okay. was, was successful at getting an answer for the American people that Barack Obama was born in the United States. Right, but, but so I got to stop you because there are some issues with that. Folk, I want to ask you, though, both Rudy Giuliani, who's been out with Donald Trump, as you know, on the campaign trail all the time, we've seen them out together, and Trump's own campaign manager have said he's basically backed off this birtherism that, issue. And I'm asking you, when did that happen? Again, you're doing what you did earlier, where you're putting words in other people's mouths. Here's what happened. Hillary you Clinton just heard started, it. Hillary Clinton started trying to get an answer on Barack Obama's background. She failed. Then Donald Trump succeeded at getting an answer, I, and now we've moved on, and we should move on to other issues. Let's you you want to move on. Hell, you want to move on to other issues, and I understand issue that. Want. But this has let's been something. About, Wait a second. Let me let me tell you why it's relevant let's for us. Because national security, the hang economy, on one second. You want. Your candidate has been trying to reach out to members of the African American community and over these last couple so. of weeks, and our reporting, and it is very, it is known that there is a lot of folks who are uncomfortable with where Trump has been on the birther issue. That's why this is relevant now, well, and that's why I think it's question, important we get a clear answer from your candidate. I just answered the question. Eight percent of African Americans are now backing Donald Trump more than backed McCain in the election, more than backed Romney in the election. That number is growing because those African American communities see that Donald Trump is the leader for them. He is the leader that will reinvigorate the inner cities and will. Keep America safe. Boris Epstein, senior advisor to the Trump campaign. Always good to have you on. I appreciate Thanks you being so on the uh, the road show today. All right. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.